What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Rudley Podcast. I'm your host, Max Rudley, and this is the podcast for all things pop culture and film, TV, and so much more. And in this week's episode, this is the first time I'm doing this episode in both a video and audio format. So if you're listening on a podcast platform, like with Apple and Spotify, please give us a five-star rating. That would be very much appreciated. And also, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. And so in, in this week's episode, we have a ton of news to go over today, and that is with a cinema con that is next week. And that there's some announcements that are, are waiting to come and with trailers and exclusive looks and uh, what to expect. And we, we also have some fantastic foreign news to go over. And, and as with casting news, and even for what this movie is going to be like, that as officially revealed by Marvel Studios, it will be able to do Matrix film coming up with Matrix 5. And also with so much more to the discuss as well and, and so please give us a five star rating that'll be very much appreciated and so let's go over the news and so so start off with the cinema con now that is next week and even what well the studios that are expected to be in attendance that is with a universal war brothers disney paramount and it, except for sony that's not going to be there but like most importantly let, let's start off with the war Warner brothers and, and for what they're ha- having coming up is even that that we're expecting to get the first trailer for joker 2 aka joker fully ado now if you missed my video from this, this week i'll link it somewhere up here but even with what water brothers that is presenting uh, the uh, first trailer for Joker 2 and, and I think that should be very important because I think they'll kick, kick, kickstart the marketing into full gear now this is the uh, sequel to the uh, billion dollar DC movie that came, that came out way, way back in 2019 now this sequel is going to be a musical where the Joaquin Phoenix were turning as the Joker and Lady Gaga being introduced as Harley Quinn and even with people's expectations and people are not even interested in musicals but even so like I think like fans who should be really excited once we get this first trailer and I think what also I think that they're, they could be presenting is you with more stuff from Beetlejuice 2 aka a Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and so much more. And even with a U- Universal, from what I've heard, I think that they're going to show like, a screening of The Fall Guy as coming out this May, starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. And, and 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 that as well and also and also moving on to uh, disney and now i know that some people are, are expecting what one thing is an announcements from marvel studios now i think we, we should lower our expectations because even uh, i mean i mean don't expect don't expect a trailer for deadpool and wolverine as a part of this panel maybe because even with disney that's going to be presenting i think we, we can definitely expect so, so much stuff that that is a disney related like with kingdom of the planet of the apes alien or remodelist and just so, so much more that is Disney related but I think we, we should definitely lower our, our expectations especially for the Marvel stuff I think that will be saved for a D23 or a San Diego Comic Con and plus that this is with a cinema con that's where the movie theater chain owners come in as we celebrate going back to the movies and I think it should be a pretty fun, fun as well and even with Paramount what we should expect from what I'm expecting is, of course, with Sonic 3. And even from most importantly, for who is going to be the voice of Shadow? Because I think with the voice of Shadow, I think that's the perfect time to announce it. Because, I mean, I think I think they wrapped up filming and everything. So I think it may be the perfect time to do that as well. And so a lot to look forward to for CinemaCon. Plus, I'll, I'll be here on the channel like covering. And also, be sure to, to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on, on and any of that news and now moving on to a fantastic four and now yeah, ever since we got the fantastic four announced and even now we have some fantastic four news to, to go over and, and that started with the casting and now it, it was just announced this week that with julia gardner that has been cast as the female silver surfer and even with a silver surfer who is the herald of galactus who's going to be the main villain of the movie and i know i know like people some may be thinking that with, with their re- reactions to the news and they don't want to a female-led cast as a Silver Surfer, but I'm definitely fine with it because even with Julia Gardner, she's she been in, in shows like with Ozark and many other great stuff. And even with uh, with the with the Silver Surfer, I, I think like, it's going to be a, a big part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think it's going to be like we're be getting a special presentation before this movie. And if, even with a uh, Julia Gardner, I, I think uh, she'll be a great Silver Surfer uh, just as long as she puts on a great performance. If they could give her great writing for her character, and we shall you know, find out soon 
if she'll uh, be that as a sober surfer if she'll bring that to, 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 the, to the screen and now even with the next piece of news to go over it is a we, we got the first poster revealed for the human torch revealed by marvel studios and now as, as especially like uh this is our first look at the, the design with the with Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, that's going to be played by Joseph Quinn. And as we can see in the background, now this is going to be the alternate universe that the Fantastic Four is going to be set in because because ever since we we've heard that with the Fantastic Four, it's going to be set in the 60s. And I think that this is going to be a universe that's going to be outside of the of the main MCU continuity. Now that this is not look, look like a 616, but but like I think it's going to be set set that way. But even in an alternate side of the, the mcu and as we can see in the background it is far more advanced far more into the future and so I, i'm really excited for the fantastic four and i think it's going into filming soon and uh, we'll find out more de details once we get, get more plot details of what to expect going into the film now again there there is no order or story that's going to be told with the fantastic four so that's going to be the fantastic four doing their thing and there's missions and stuff like that so it's it's gonna be fun i mean it's one of my most anticipated titles especially for 2025 and i, I just look at the couple of movies like, it is packed so so expect a ton of that as well uh -huh. And now, moving on to uh, the, the news for the new Matrix movie. Now, it, it was ju just announced that with the Matrix 5, it, it, it's officially in development for Warner Brothers. And now, it's, it's, and, and now it's, especially with, with, with this new uh, Matrix movie uh, that, that is in the works, and, and that with uh, Drew uh, Gardard, uh, who, who was going to direct the Spider-Man 4, is now going to be attached as a creator or like something like uh, for the new Matrix movie. And now, with my thoughts on this news, especially after Matrix Resurrections, the last movie with Keanu Reeves, I feel like that was solid. It was good, but I haven't seen it since it was released back in 2021. But I, I feel like, I mean, it was a good solid movie, but even as we look at the entire Matrix franchise from Matrix 1 all, all the way up until now, it's like a great movie franchise with, with Keanu Reeves, and, and there's so much more. And even, but with The Matrix 5, I, I feel like that wasn't necessarily needed. And, and even like for what they're about to do, like, like uh, they're gonna ruin everything. I mean, we're, we're not sure if Keanu Reeves or Kyrie and Moss are going to return for their roles. But, but hey, we'll, we'll lots of wait and see on, on that. So that's something that like we'll have to wait. On. And on, on top of that, with the, this new uh, Matrix movie and that, and that that's coming, I, I feel like that is unnecessary because considering from how we end off uh, the last, last movie and. But plus, I I feel like with this next one that that isn't really ne necessary. But I, I feel like we shall at least uh, give give it a shot. But I, I'm wondering uh, what story and direction that they're gonna take with this because I, mean, I like the uh, Matrix franchise as such, such a cool, cool you know, science fiction type of franchise with Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, L Lawrence of Fishbone, and, and just uh, so, so much more. And with great storytelling, and I think we we should we have to see on that. But how are you guys feeling about the news about a new Matrix film that, that's coming in? So, moving on to is that we, we, we have our first look at John Bernthal as the Punisher and that he, he has returned in, in a Daredevil board again set photos. And now, it's especially like as a Daredevil has filming, I mean, I mean, even though uh, as of me recording this podcast episode is that where the daredevil board again has officially wrapped up filming and now and even with the punisher that he he's been on set and that we have our first look right here is that even that we have our first look especially at the punisher and daredevil that they're, they're gonna be working alongside each other in in born again and even as we see in some set photos that with, with the police badge it says mayor fisk and that means with wilson fisk who's probably gonna be running for mayor of new york city to, to try and make a vigilantes illegal and, and like uh, that means that I, I think this is something big is about to go down in in the show and, and like considering that i think that this is a continuation but i think that this is like a reboot but we're not, we're not sure but i think it's a it, it, it's a reboot and they've gotten a new writers and directors and hopefully the, the, the show ends up turning out well because, because even with john berthold like he was born to play uh, the, the the punisher for this role and i, I think with uh the the punisher that is definitely going to be returning in 
Daredevil Born Again. It's going to be a really exciting time for Marvel fans, especially with Daredevil fans as well. Especially, I like the Daredevil show, and even with the Punisher as well. So, so yeah, I really like our very first looks at the Punisher. I think we'll, we'll get more once we get even more as well. And now, moving on to Dune Messiah. And now, especially after the success of Doom Part 2. I think it's costly like, uh, $600 million worldwide, and uh, it's it become the uh, highest grossing movie with uh, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, and, and, and even that, that movie has grown a big, and like, it, it, even the, I really like, I really love the, the movie, and I, I really enjoyed everything that I brought to, to the screen, especially as I saw it in IMAX, well, the aesthetics, and there's so, so much more, and now I think it, it was confirmed recently that Dune M Messiah is officially in the works at Legendary. Now, as, especially like for what we, we can expect from this, especially for how Dune Part 2 ended and how it's going to go into the third movie and how it's going, going to adapt the, the book adaptation for what the, the name of Valenabil is, is going to adapt into this third Dune movie. Well, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. And plus, with, there's so, so much stories to be told with Paul Atreides, and I think with uh, Channing, like a Zendaya's character, and I think a lot is at, is at stake, especially for, for the next Dune movie. And I think since something big is about to, to go down, or even if this will mark the end of the franchise, especially as we'll have a whole a Dune a franchise already with with Dune, Dune Part Two, and Dune Messiah. And I think if we have all th three movies in, in the franchise. And that would be a perfect chance for like a trilogy and i've been pretty excited for it if that happens and of course i love to be chalamet as he what he brought to the role as paul atreides like especially with with, with arrakis and with the world building and all the stuff like that but even though that I, I might have not liked the first Doom, but even as I loved Doom Part 2, and I thought it was a much better movie, it was, it, it was incredible as well. And I saw, like, you know, I think two times, I think at the early uh, IMAX fan premiere screenings and on opening day as well. It was, I think I'll, I'll re-watch re it uh, for whatever Doom Messiah comes out or whenever Vladivill starts working on that film. But he has so many movies in development because I'm pretty sure, well, I mean, we'll definitely, I mean, we want to expect uh, doing Messiah for like a long time, for like a while. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. But hey, I mean, uh, with, with the news, I'm very excited that, that we're getting another Dune movie. And if it, it was expected that with Dune Part 2, it was expected to dominate at, at the box office. And now it's like the, the highest grossing movie of this year. So because it's all because of the fans that, that really came out to really support this film, it, it, especially with, with the popcorn bucket, that was like a very um, viral meme. I mean, that, that that definitely helped the movie. And I think with the next Dune movie, at, of what stories there to be told, because I think that they're, go, they're going to adapt the next book. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited for it as well. And now, with the last thing to talk about is we have some release dates for some upcoming Disney movies, and that's for both the Star Wars and Pixar and other Disney movies as well. And now, as, as I'm reading off these, like uh, with, with these release dates that we have right here from the new ones at Disney, that we have uh, the new uh, Star Wars movie, The Mandalorian and, and Grogu, and, and that is going to be released on May 22nd of 2026. And especially as this is going to be from Dave Filoni and John Favreau. But I'm thinking like with um, with this new uh, Star Wars movie, and I'm pretty sure like I'm not, not sure how I feel about this, but I feel like considering like how the last season of The Mandalorian went out with season three, it, it was such a poor dip in quality, and I feel like with with, with them like I'm making a Star Wars movie with The Mandalorian and Grogu, and I feel like, I mean, we haven't had a Star Wars movie in a long time since, like, The Rise of Skywalker, and that got hit on so much by, by audiences, but I feel like this could be, like, a fresh start, as long as it has, like, a good script and a good story to tell, but, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't like The Mandalorian Season 3, but I liked it for how it was, but I, I didn't enjoy it that much, and, and now... With the uh, next uh, Disney release a movie that, that, that we have is the uh, live action Moana. And ever since it was announced by The Rock last year that they're going to be remaking Moana into live action. And that, that's, that's which it's released it's from. 
uh, June 27th of 2025 to now to July 10th of 2026. And so I, I think that means with, I think with uh, Moana 2, and that, that, I mean, I think that is coming out th this year in Thanksgiving. So this year does not want to, you know, like rush into the live action Moana. Plus it's going to take a, a lot of work to, uh, to make the uh, live action Moana because I think it, it, it's a good thing that I didn't delay the whole thing. And now next up is with Toy Story 5. And now that is coming out on June 19th of 2026. And now and even the people are not, not like a fan of, of this news or, or like and considering the fact that i i would have liked if the franchise and ended with three because that was like the perfect conclusion to, to this franchise and, and that was a, a good ending for all the toys especially with woody but then they, they could take on with toy story 4 which it was a good solid en enough time it was good but if you, even though, like, I mean, it should have ended with three, and that, like, I mean, I mean, even with 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 Disney, it, it's a business. I mean, they need to make uh, generate box office money. But if even that, I need to you know generate some dough with the uh, Toy Story Five, because if, even though they're continuing with another Toy Story, but I'm I'm curious to see for what's in store for the next Toy Story film as well. But I mean, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's especially like if we're going to have Woody and Buzz return because the, this is the movie franchise that I definitely grew up watching as a kid. And I, I feel like with Toy Story 5, that is really un unnecessary considering the fact of how the franchise went after that, so especially after Toy Story 4 and stuff like that. And now and next up is we, we have Tron. A raise and that's coming out next year next october of 2025 so that's stuff like that as well and so in conclusion with like all the stuff that we talked about today from CinemaCon, we should expect like a ton of announcements especially from universal warner brothers and disney paramount and and just so, so much more and i'm excited to cover it with you all and even with all the fantastic four news and i hope that julia gardner delivers a great performance as a female surfer surfer and, and even with, with the background of the poster and it definitely looks more like a future enhanced in the 60s so it's outside of the main mcu continuity but it still remains in, in the marvel cinematic universe especially with the human torch and with johnny storm and and so much more and even with a new matrix movie coming i, I feel like it is really unnecessary and I, I i feel like i mean i'm not sure how i feel about this but i feel like a fifth movie is definitely unnecessary as well and and, and so that is going to be it for this episode and tune in next time for more stuff like this and please give this a, a five star rating and share it with, with, with a bunch of people and that'd be very much appreciated and also if you are watching on youtube be sure to to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for uh, future bits and more uh, stuff like this and with that i'll see y'all next one peace